Hello, this is Fo, and in this video I'm going to take you through putting a bare bones 4G config onto a Cisco 819 router. So, as you can see, I've got the router here with no config on it whatsoever. I'm quickly going to enable and show you the interface structure of this box. So, the main thing that you'll notice here that's not in uh, most routers that you work on is the cellular zero interface. Uh, the rest of it is pretty standard for a, a Soho box, so you've got four fast E's. Um, these are basically switch ports. You've got a VLAN interface behind it. You've also got uh, a giganet, gigabit Ethernet interface and a serial interface that we're not going to touch on this. But as you can see, no IPs assigned whatsoever. So the first thing that we need to do is set up the APN for our 4G connection. Now this is all done on the cell interface. so. The command for this is cell zero, referring to the cellular zero interface there, LTE profile, and we want to create it, and we want to put it into slot one. There's multiple slots on this, 16 on the 819 router, but we're only interested in a simple config, so slot one, and then you give it the APN name. 3.co.uk uh, is my carrier. So uh, there are options if you have to authenticate for your APN, but three don't, so I just tell it none. And then just confirm. Okay, and that's been written to the modem. So the next task is to go in and configure the radio interface itself. So we go into config mode, and then the interface cell zero. So first things first, we'll set the IP address to negotiate. Set our end cap to slip. Now even if it falls back to 3G it still uses the slip end cap. Um, so next job set dial in band. Now in iOS 15.3 and above that's about all the dialer work that we have to do. It automatically sets up the chat script uh, puts it on the line and sets the dialer string for us. Um, so that's nice and straightforward. So the, the next thing that we need to do is decide what traffic is interesting and we'll bring up the, the interface. So we say dialer group one. So that just refers to a, a dialer list that we're going to create in a moment. Okay, next job, since this is internet, um, and we're only going to have one IP from our carrier. We need to do IP in that outside. Now, for some reason, the 819's got plenty of horsepower on it, but it takes absolutely forever for this command to go in. We've just got to sit it out. There it goes. Okay. Okay, and before I forget, we'll do a no shut on that interface. Okay. And believe it or not, that's the 4G part done. Uh, so let's create the, the dialer list to define what's interesting traffic. So, oops. Dialer list one. So the, the number in the dialer list there matches the dialer group referenced on the interface. Protocol IP permit. So any IP at all that gets slung at that interface will bring it up. So let's make sure traffic makes its way to that interface. IP root 0000. zero, zero, zero. Just put a default root in here and then you can point it to the cellular interface. You don't need an X hop. Great. Okay, so that's the, the outside half done. Uh, so on the inside, we're just going to set up a, a 10 0, 0 network, uh, which my other tab here, I've got a host which is sat on that network attached to the router. So, uh, because this is a, a Soho box, we set the IP details up on the, the VLAN SVI. So, interface VLAN 1, set the IP address. slash 24 mask on it, 
set the IP NAT inside so that we get NATed out to the internet when we come in that interface. Uh, and then we set up our ACL for the NAT. Just call it NAT. And we'll say permit IP 10.0.0.0. So anything on the 10.0.0 zero network going to anywhere will match with that list and then we'll say IP NAT inside source list NAT so anything that matches that NAT list going from the inside to the outside um, we'll NAT it to the interface address which we don't know yet of cell zero and we'll overload that so we have multiple hosts on the inside Okay, now in theory that should be it. So if I try and ping 8888, it takes a little while to bring it up, but after a couple of failed pings, boom, interface cell zero is up. Just repeat that. There we go. And you can see the latency on that. Uh, I'll explain why that is. Uh, in my local area, 4G coverage, not great, so it's fallen back to 3G. There's a couple of commands we can do to confirm that. So if I do a show cell zero radio, you can see it's on uh, UMTS 3G. Uh, if it was on 4G, you'd be getting much better round trip times than that. But while we're in here doing some show commands, let's also do a show cell zero network. So uh, basically what we're looking for in here is, you can see the network, that's by carrier three in the UK. Um, and the state is attached and the registration state is registered. So, uh, the only other really useful show command for this is show cell zero profile. It's the profile that we created earlier on. You can see it's populated with its IP address and the DNS that it's picked up from the cell network. And that's more or less it. I mean, there are debug commands that you can use, but they're very, very limited. You can do a debug dialer, you can do a debug chat, um, you can also do a debug cellular zero messages call control. So with all these commands in place, um, I will do a clear interface cell zero to tear down that connection. Get a couple of messages saying that it's cleared out and it's gone down. I'll just show you what that looks like when we try to bring that up again. There we go. So our dialer is saying, right, we've got a, a packet that's trying to get out through this interface, that's the interesting traffic. Uh, it's attempting to dial LTE. Now that is uh, a dialer string that gets automatically inserted. The dialer goes down to chat, which says, right, I'm using the script LTE. Again, that's automatically created in iOS 15.3 in it. And it begins and it basically says, right, I'm gonna send 80 bang call and I'm going to expect OK. After a couple of seconds, it'll get the OK back from the modem. And it says, OK, that's successful. And it signs the, the IP and the DNS automatically. And then the, the dialer says, right, I'm up. And there we go. The cell interface is up and ready to use. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. And uh, 
please have a look at my blog on networkingbodges.blogspot.com. Thanks.